Balder. Good morning. Good, Good morning, morning, Balder. Good morning. Is this Fred Funk? Yes, and Derek. And Derek Donovan, thank you so much. You're on the Dow DeBeebe Show, which is broadcast live right here on KKVI Radio in Dallas, Texas. Thank you for joining us. Thanks for having us. Well, I'd like to start, if I could, I'm going to start with you, Derek Donovan, because you're the vice president of Fisher House Foundation. And I want you to talk about your involvement with the Fisher House Foundation and how Americans can support our military plus, you know, what, what, how can we get involved? Well, uh, Fisher House is uh, a home away from home, similar to a Ronald McDonald House. And right there in Dallas, there's a Fisher House at the North Texas uh, uh, VA Healthcare Center, Medical Center. Uh, it's, got a, it's got 20 suites, so 20 families are there. That house is almost always full. And uh, people can go ahead and do uh, volunteer work, go into that hospital and uh, signing up through their regular Red Cross Voluntary Services uh, volunteer program, and there's opportunities there for people. But the big thing is that uh, you know families need to be together uh, when you have somebody hospitalized, and that's what Fisher House allows them to do is is to to be together when they need to be together the most. I'm sure that's an important time to have family around because my doctor tells me family is the best medicine that. It's better than anything that he can prescribe. Yeah, that's uh, actually our logo. I like the way the doctor's using it. Uh, uh, family's love is good medicine, is what we say. Well, let me ask Fred Frunk. Fred, you're a professional golfer. You're one of the most recognizable names and personalities in professional golf, and, you know, after winning all of those eight titles. <laughs> How did you get involved? Well, uh, Stryker gave my life gave me my life back as far as my career and uh, we teamed up to give our militaries their life back with Fisher House because that's what they're doing. They're, they're getting the uh, military that's coming back with devastating in injuries, a lot of them with uh, limbs that are lost and, and they got to figure out that. They, a lot of them with PTSD and you know just a lot of trauma, mental trauma they're coming back uh, from deployment. and. They get their opportunity to heal with their family in the Fisher House environment, and uh, that's that's the most important thing is to try to get them back into normal life uh, as quickly as possible. And the best way to do that is with family. What got what got you involved? I, I mean, really, uh, it seems that this point of your career, you can choose to retire and do nothing. So, what got you involved? Well, for me, the biggest love I have and, and biggest desire is to do everything I can for our military because uh, I feel like I've had a lot of interactions with the military through my involvement with the tour and I've seen all the different uh, organizations of the military and uh, how great the young men and women are in the military and then when they come back and and they have these horrific injuries uh, I just look at them as our true heroes I just want to do everything I can for them because they are our heroes. They, they just allow us to have the lives we have and they have tremendous sacrifices and they need to be treated the way they want to need to be treated and the way they deserve to be treated when they come home. And, and the biggest thing they've always told me is that they want to get back into society as quickly as possible. They want to be treated as able-bodied Americans that want to get into the job force and the workforce and to have as normal life as they can. And the only way they can do that is to be treated the way they really deserve to be treated. And the Fisher House allows that. They, they can be with the family as quickly as possible. And then they can get back into society as quickly as possible. So for me, it was just a no-brainer. And Stryker has been a, a great partner with me. Uh, I ended up getting a new knee, got a new sponsorship. And now that I started this program with uh, the hat program where they can buy a hat, 1995, and all the proceeds go to uh, the Fisher House, and you, you get on that website at getaroundme.com, and and uh, that's that's one way of getting involved, and there's so many other ways, but uh, for me, it's just anything I can do for the military is what I want to do, and that's my passion and my love as a military. Well, thank you so much. You know, everybody wears a hat. I think that's a great <laughs> idea. I'll wrap up, if you don't mind, with Derek Donovan. Derek, what do you want people to know about giving your commitment to the military, because I think, 
you know, this is not like World War II where everybody was on board. Well, uh, for just about everybody, it's an honor to serve. Uh, you know, recruiting is not a problem. The young people uh, out there in America today are, are signing up to serve their country. And uh, people aren't leaving the military uh, in any alarming numbers either, again, because they are so proud to serve. And uh, I served for 26 years. Uh, I have a wife who's still on active duty. I have a daughter who's on active duty. So I come from a family uh, that is very engaged in the military. Uh, we believe in what we're doing, uh, and it, it is, in fact, an honor to serve. Where would you like us to go and get this hat so we can at least support you? Oh, getaroundknee.com is the place to go. And uh, <laughs> there's also a link to Fisher House uh, there. But uh, those are great hats, uh, getaroundknee.com. I want to thank you, you know, Derek, for what you did by giving your service to America because I think America is the greatest place on this planet. And I want to thank Fred Funk for talking to us and being so supportive of you. Thank you very much both for talking about it. And give me that website one more time. It's getaroundknee.com. It's the same knee I got in my knee. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> it's from Stryker, and it's just a, a great organization that we're trying to support with Fisher House. And just get the awareness out there. We just got to keep helping our military. Well, I can't wait to get my hat, and I know my audience feels the same way. You can do something in America to support our troops. Thank you very much, guys, for talking about this important subject today on the Valder BB Show here on KKBI Radio. Thank you, Valder. Thank you, Valder.